first. Are you scrolling your phone or your tablet? Well, have you thought about taking some extra steps to protect your personal information? Well, earlier, a cybersecurity expert shared what you need to know to stay safe in the digital world. From data breaches to phishing scams, cyber threats are everywhere, but fear not. Joining us today with some tips to outsmart those cyber criminals and stay safe is Dave Lewis. He's a global advisor, chief information security officer at Cisco Security. And let's start with this. What are some of the latest trends in cyber crime? Well, thank you very much for having me. Um, some of the latest trends that we're seeing from our Talos Intelligence Group is that attackers have been uh, targeting healthcare uh, organizations and hospitals for the last quarter, rather uh, predominantly. Uh, as well, we're seeing ransomware continues to be a problem and phishing as well, which is a lure for uh, people to unfortunately install malicious software on their systems. Right, it just seems like the problem grows and grows. And what are some common cybersecurity threats that individuals and businesses need to be aware of? Well, individuals and businesses need to be vigilant because the attackers are constantly looking for new and exciting ways to cause you heartburn. Um, for the individual, they're kind of gain, trying to gain access to your information, your financial information, steal from you. Uh, for organizations, there tend to be bigger fish. And the stakes are far higher because if the attackers are able to gain access into an enterprise, the potential knock-on effect could affect the jobs of hundreds, if not thousands, of employees. Right. And Cisco recently unveiled its new cybersecurity readiness index. OK, tell us more about that. This is a fantastic report where we pulled cybersecurity professionals around the world to get their perspectives on how they saw their organizations from a security maturity uh, standpoint. And the really telling piece of it was that of those organizations that were polled, only 15 percent of them saw themselves as being mature enough to withstand a security incident or a cybersecurity attack and come out the other side in good shape. Uh, most organizations are working very hard in order to get to that state, but a lot of them are very much in the build and uh, deploy stage at this point. With all that vulnerability you were speaking of, how can we protect ourselves online and mitigate the cybersecurity risks? As the individual, we want to make sure that we're constantly looking at our credit card and banking statements to look for anomalous behavior. For example, with the credit card, if an attacker gains access to that, they will try something with a low dollar amount transaction to see if it works. Could be a dollar, could be two dollars, something along those lines. And it'll usually be from an organization you've never heard of. So keeping an eye on that is really a good uh, idea because credit card companies are good about looking for these sort of things, but they won't always catch everything. So you wanna make sure that you are keeping a keen eye on your financial information. You wanna make sure that your system at home is patched to current. You wanna make sure your mobile devices are patched to current, uh, that you have firewalls on your system at home, that you have uh, uh, protections against malicious software. As well, you want to make sure you're moving away from passwords. So if you can use multi-factor authentication wherever possible, this makes it harder for the attackers to gain access to your information. Very much like a house key, you can lock your door when you go to work in the morning. But if somebody finds that key, they can get into your house no problem. With multi-factor authentication, it's more like if you lose that key and the attacker tries to get in, the house knows enough to say, you don't live here, you can't come in. So we want to make sure we're having these levels to reduce risk uh, and make it that much more difficult for the attackers to gain access to our stuff. Yeah, I like the way you put that. So yeah, we need to do our part and prevention is key because boy, think of all the things that'll help us with down the road, keeping us safe and keeping our assets safe. So where can we go for more information? Well, for more information, you can check out cisco.com slash go slash resilient index, uh, sorry, readiness index. And there you'll have the report. You'll have all sorts of other information, links with uh, useful information as well. You can always reach out. Uh, Cisco is here to be your trusted partner. All right. Here's to a safer future, a bright future. And of course, thank you. And of course, go to our website for more on this. And that is firstcoastliving.net.